Welcome to a very wet lava castle. I see her really close. Look at Rita helping Beata up the hill because it's too steep. Oh, you stopped holding hands. How boring. She needs help because it's too steep. So we've just come across this amazing burrow uh, built under an old tree. And I'll just show you the, uh, the mound of soil that the animal has kicked up. I imagine it might be a badger. You see the path there, and then this is the uh, the burrow. And uh, yeah. Anyway, quite a quite a substantial burrow down there. As I say, I imagine it might be a, a badger, but uh, I'm no expert. So just had a bit of a break. It's not raining quite as much as it has been. Uh, I'm absolutely soaked. My trousers are drenched. But anyway, this is the Ascombe Loop from Lauva Castle up to Ascombe Fell and back again. It's a lovely walk. Uh, it's a beautiful little corner of Cumbria of the Lake District. Very peaceful. And at the top of Ascombe Fell, you do on clear days, get the most amazing views of Hullswater and the surrounding fells. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be much of a view today, but it's just so beautiful, so peaceful. I don't know if you can hear the skylarks singing in the background. And uh, yeah, loads of parking at Lauva uh, Castle, free parking as well. Toilets, cafes, all that sort of stuff, as well as loads of lovely places to stop in Ascombe Village itself which is a beautiful little spot. Uh, if I had the money, I'd love to buy a house there. But anyway, yeah, if you're looking for a lovely walk, the Ascombe Loop from Lauva Castle takes, I think, about two, two and a half hours, maybe a little bit longer, depending on your speed and how you take the walk, but uh, definitely well worth uh, doing. Beautiful walk. So it's finally stopped raining as we reach the top of Ascombe Fell. And I even spotted a patch of blue sky above me. I don't think it will last very long. But there is a bit of a view today. Not quite as spectacular as it can be, but it's still very beautiful. So this is Ascombe village and it's uh, a beautiful little village and it's full of the most attractive cottages and uh, just spotted this one over here which is rather cute.
How would you fancy living in a little cottage like that? Beautiful, isn't it? The other nice thing about this little village is it's got two pubs, a church and a little village store. And there aren't many villages now that have even one pub or village store, so the fact that this one has all those things uh, again is an added bonus.